Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of the things hoped for and then evidence of the unseen. So I'll encourage you to have faith in God. Noah was given an impossible task. God told him to preach to the, to the world and tell them that there's going to be rain. And it had never rained before that time when it started raining uh, around Noah's time. Secondly, God asked him to build an ark or a big boat or a ship on a dry land, which obviously an impossible thing to do. And secondly, uh, illogical thing to do. A lot of people mocked him and he was the minority against the world that stood against God and against the world that had a lot of opposition to what Noah was doing. But after the flood, Noah became the majority. So I'll encourage you today and I'll ask you that, have you ever seen a moment when you had to build a ship or build an ark on the dry land? Because if you have to, just do it. Have faith in God. And God will send the water that will destroy every single opposition, but also help to lift that ark up. And then God will sail it to the place which God has prepared, like he did for Noah. So our job is today to have faith and to believe in the unseen and to have faith in the evidence that is in the unseen. And normally uh, people say that these terms are like very illogical. How can you have confidence in something that is not even seen? But Noah had the confidence because he loved God and he knew that God loved him. So message for today is that find that moment when you had to do something or believe in something that was totally impossible. Because our God can make things possible. Just like Daniel's friends, when they were about to be thrown into the fire, into the furnace, they said God will save us. And if he doesn't, it doesn't matter. But they knew that God will save them. And they couldn't see God in the fire, but eventually when they were thrown in, they, they could see that there was God's presence in the fire. And it was Jesus Christ who saved them from the fire. Similarly, try to overcome the impossibilities through the eyes of faith, through the unseen, but having that faith and belief and having that confirmation in your heart that God will be able to do that. So God's miracle do take place when you take the step of uh, impossibility or step towards the impossibilities and build that ark on the dry ground and God will then allow the water to come to lift you up and then take you to a place where God has going to do impossible, to make possible for you all the impossibilities and then God will bless you in everything. God bless you. Amen.